Oops. Okay, so today we will be threading our machine. I'm kind of going to walk you guys through that process very briefly. Um, I'm going to try to be as descriptive as possible. Um, most basic terminology does slip my mind, but I hope the visuals will be a good aid for you all. And let's get started. So as you can see, I already have my machine threaded um, from prior use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that out. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys the bobbin as well. As you can see, I have a singer. Um, probably my, it's between singer and brother. I love singers and I love brother machines. So those are good machines to utilize. Um, but most machines are threaded, you know, very similarly. Ignore how dirty it is, goodness. Um, so while well, I do the bobbin first, so here we have our bobbin. You see mine's like barely threaded, but yeah, we're gonna make it do what it do. Um, so you'll place, so this piece will actually be in your machine and it just, it really holds the bobbin in there. It fits just like that and it has a little lever for you to remove it. So you're going to take that out of there. You're going to place your bobbin, you can have your bobbin positioned like this. And you're going to take your threads, like, you know, the way it's going, kind of like clockwork. You're going to have your thread hanging and I'll teach you guys how to thread the bobbin um, in another video. So you'll take your bobbin here, place it here. You'll see there's like a little slit here for you to slide the thread through. So you're gonna take your bobbin, slide it through the slit. Okay, we cut the thread. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're weak. This never happened. Okay, so thread it here and then boom, through the slit. Through the very top hole, if that's descriptive enough for you guys. And I typically leave, let the thread hang out near the lever. You're gonna pull it out like so. And you're like, you know, like you can hold it almost like a ring and then you're going to put it back in there and make sure it clicks. You should hear that. You're good to go for the bobbin. Um, and so here we are. I use serger thread majorly for my sewing. You probably shouldn't, but I do. It's just a little more convenient for me and it comes, you know, pl like plentiful, you know. There's a lot of yards on here. So you're going to place it at the top here. Um, so most machines will have the option of you placing the thread either here at the top here, and that's typically removable, or you can place it here. If you all can see that, you can place it like right here. Um, but for typical machine thread, it's probably a good idea to place it here in the little slot you have back there versus placing it on top just because the thread is less likely to um, cut and you know, unravel that way. But since we have serger thread currently, we're gonna do this. So here we're going to bring the thread around here. You have an area for your thread to kind of loop through when you're winding your bobbin. You're gonna avoid this area and you're gonna go to the back where you see the hook for the thread, for the main spool thread. You're gonna hook it through there. Then you're gonna loop this around like a U, make like you're making a U-turn. And you're gonna make sure your needle is up if you need to use your side kind of wheel to bring this hook up right here this middle piece you all see use your hook to bring that up and loop your thread through so it's a pretty swift motion you'll need two hands though so boom. i'll do it again hook you turn hook bring it back down most machines will have a place for you to kind of secure the thread while it's going through the needle. Some do, some don't. Mine does, so I'm just gonna loop that here. See, and I'm pulling and it's secured. And then most machines, well not most, so majority, but not you know a good portion of them, will have an option for you to um, be able to thread your needle with um, the tools. So really all I have to do is bring this down, hook it up, boom. It's good for people with, um, not good coordination when it comes to threading the needle with your hands because it can be difficult um, so if it's going to be a difficult task for you i do recommend investing in a machine with a needle threader included um, and then lastly what we're going to do is we're going to pull the thread up for our bobbin so i'm going to zoom in here a little bit okay and so what we're going to do is you're going to move this wheel that you have on the side of your machine it controls the needle you're gonna wheel it down, bring it back up, and you're gonna pull your thread out. And I think you just take a pair of scissors. You can either take a pair of scissors or a needle and just slide that thread there. And here we have the spool thread and the bobbin thread, and you are ready to sew, period. 
thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was as self-explanatory as possible. I try not to be overcomplicated with terms and things like that. Um, I hope you all could see most of it. If you do have questions, please drop them in the comment section. <gasps> If you do have questions, please drop them in the comment section. <laughs> and um, I will have a bobbin threading video for you guys sometime this week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and leave it.